Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to Mathematics 6, quarter 3, week number 4. So this time we're going to discuss the translating of real life and verbal expression and equation. Let's go! So our learning competency for this morning, quarter 1, week number 3, week number 4, so, represent quantities in real-life situation using algebraic expression and equation. And number two, we're going to solve routine and non-routine problems involving different types of numerical expression and equation, such as 7 plus 9 is equal to blank plus 6. So, let's go. Let's look back. Translate the given verbal phrases or sentence into expression or equation. Choose the letter of your answer. Number one, twice a number y increased by five. Is it A, B, C, or D? The correct answer is Okay, number two. Let me comment down your answer. Grade six pupils. For number one, the answer is letter B. Number two, there are 46 people on a bus. Nine pe people get off at the next stop. What should be the proper translation of this situation? Is it A, B, C, or D? For number three, the quotient of M and tries and should be the answer A, B, C, or D. And for number four, Angie is twice three years younger than twice the age of her brother. Is it A, B, C, or D? And for number five, the total cost N of six kilograms of pork if a kilogram costs 320 pesos. Should be the proper number sentence for this one A, B, C, or D. Okay, so for number two, the correct answer must be for number one, the correct answer must be letter B. Okay, for number two, the answer must be letter correct, letter C, the, the correct answer. And then for number three, Number three, the correct answer is letter, letter A. Okay? And for number four, should be the right answer. Grade six pupils. Letter B, twice or three years younger. Younger means less, twice the age of the brother, 2X. And then for number five, what should be the right answer for number five? Grade six pupils. So, the correct answer is letter D, dog. Okay, now let's get started. I am 11 years older than my younger brother. If the sum of the our age is 49, how old I am? So, first, let's define the sum of our age is 49. The sum of our age is 49. So, this would be the total age. And then, Let's represent x for my age and the other is this would be for my younger brother and this would be my age and then so my younger brother is 11 years I am 11 years older x plus 11 so this would be x plus 11 and let x be our age my younger brother so x plus 11 be my age so the sum means you're going to add x plus x plus 11 is equal to 49 so therefore you're going to combine the 2x so we have I combine this one 
this would be 38. Why? So, if I subtract 48 minus, uh, 49 minus 11, the answer is 38. So, 38 plus 11, the answer is 49. So, therefore, this would be 38. The sum of x and x is 38. So, let's divide it by 2 because we have two values of x. So, therefore, the values of x or the age of my brother is 19. Okay? So, this should be 19. And what should be my age? The age is 19 plus 11. The answer is 30 years old. Okay? That would be my age. And then, to check your answer, 19 plus 30, the answer is 49. That would be the sum of the age of the brother and I. So, Alright, next, example number 2. Let's translate each real-life situation in algebraic expression or equation. Then solve. Rika earned 320 pesos from selling banana Q today. If its amount is 30 pesos more than twice amount she earned yesterday. How much did she earn yesterday? Now, the given are this one. So, 320 pesos Rika earned today. And the amount she earned today is 30 pesos more than twice amount of she earned yesterday. And let's represent the unknown. So, this should be the total amount. Uh, earn Rika selling the banana Q today. Then, this would be the values of X yesterday. And X plus 30, that will be the value of earnings today. So, the, this would be the total uh, uh, today and the earnings plus 30. So, x plus 30. So, x plus x plus 30 is equal to oh, 320. So, again, the two values of x is equal to 290. Why? Because you're going to subtract uh, 320 by 30. So, the answer is 290. Then, if I combine... 290 plus 30, the answer is 320. Then, the two values of x is 290. And divided by 2 again, because, it, the, because there is two values of x, so we have 140. That would be the earning of Rika yesterday. And then, for today, we have 145 plus 30, the earning of Rika yesterday is 145. Yeah, that would be yesterday. Okay? So, for number two, as Gary harvested a basket of 48 fruits. The basket contains guabas and mangoes. The number of mangoes is twice the number of guabas. How many of each kind of fruit are there? So, the given are 48 fruits. The number of mangoes is twice the number of guava. So, represent the unknown. So, this should be the total number of fruits in the basket. So, representing the values of x for the guavas and x plus x for another two uh, fruits. That would be the mangoes. Twice the number of guabas. So, twice the number of guabas. So, therefore, we have 2x. Then, x plus x plus x is equal to 48. Then, combine. So, we have now 1, 2, 3 number of to, be, to divide by the total numbers of fruits in the basket. Therefore, we have 16 for the values of x. So, 16 plus 16 plus 16, therefore, this would be 48. 
So, therefore, there is a 16 guavas and 32 mangoes in the basket. Okay? So, let's try this. You have 3 minutes to solve each of the pa each of the problem. Okay? So, timer starts now. Comment down your answer in the comment section below. left comment on your answer in the comment section below One minute. Comment on your answer if you're done. Eight seconds. Fifteen seconds. Okay, time's up. Okay, now let's reveal the answer. So, Kevin has uh, twice as many marbles as Alvin. If the two boys have 42 marbles altogether, how many marbles does each boy have? So, given 42 marbles, Kevin has twice as many marbles as Alvin. Uh, represent the unknown. So, this should be the total. Uh, marbles all together we have 42 and then Kevin has twice so N so that would be for Albin and Kevin has twice as many marbles so we have N plus N so that would be for Kevin so we have 1, 2, 3 values of N so divided by 3 so 42 divided by 3 the answer must be must be what? 42 divided by 3. The answer must be. Okay, correct. Grade 6 pupils. That would be the correct answer. So we have 
uh, 4 divided by 3, the answer is 1. And then 12 divided by 3, the answer is 4. So therefore, the answer is 14. So we have 14 for Alvin and uh, 28 for Kevin. Okay, so that will be the answer. Then for question number 2, Anna is 16 years old. They're done bet. If the sum of their age is 30, how old is Anna? So given Anna is 16 years old, older than Beth, the sum of their age is 30. Then represent the unknown. So we have the total uh, for the Beth and Anna. We have 30. And then Beth is represent the unknown. So that will be Beth. And then Anna is represented by uh, 6 n plus 16 so that would be represented by anna n plus 16 so therefore we have n plus n plus 16 and then subtract 16 by uh, 30 by 16 the answer is 14 14 that would be the value of n so that would be 14 14 plus 14 so that is a 14 and then 14 divided by 2 is 7. 7. So, Beth is 7 years old. Then, Anna is 7 plus 16. That would be 23. Okay? So, Beth is 7 and Anna is 23. So, the correct answer is 7 and 23. Okay? So, remember, there six pupils to understand the problem. First, understand the problem and identify the given. Then, Plan, select your own strategies in creating mathematical sentence. Use variable to represent the unknown. Then solve, show your solution. Then check, to check your answer, go back to original equation and replace the unknown variable with the computed value. Okay? So, for your home learning task, create six pupils. So, answer this one on your notebook. Okay? So that's all for today. Thank you and God bless everyone. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.